Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It's Carissa here, back for your weekly reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the week of June 13th to June 20th. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, Gemini, you can check a link in the description box where you can learn your whole birth chart. That way, if you want additional um, support for the week, you can check out those readings. That being said, hopefully you find this appealing and healing in some way for you. This is a general reading, so whatever is most prominent in your week, I'll get you to apply these messages to. Hopefully they are helpful for you. I'm going to use the same deck I did last week, similar spread, except I'll be adding the bottom card for general energy for the week, and then drawing additional message cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck and the Medicine card to row. But the main spread will use the Healing with the Angels to row. I'm going to be focusing this week again a little bit more on the healing aspects versus the, the planning and intentional aspects of healing. So, Gemini, I wish for you all success, joy, and wellness. I call upon Archangels Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, and Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. And I ask that Gaia please bless this reading for Gemini. So, so far in the main position here, we have the card study, and I'm going to keep these suckers. Let's keep these, shall we? They jumped out together. I don't normally take more than one, but they were pretty stuck together, so I felt like they belonged together today, Gemini. Um, so as I was saying, the study card is all about expansion. It's about expansion of ideas and possibilities. Um, you're looking at new concepts, you're willing to learn something new, um, not necessarily to destroy something that you had already thought, but certainly um, you're not afraid of that. Anytime that we go in search of new information or new knowledge, uh, we have to be unafraid that um, something that we already believe or feel to be true uh, isn't because this new knowledge could usurp everything, right? So if the compulsion to do that could be that you want to cement something that you already know and believe and trust and love, um, but the process of this could bring you to a whole other level of, um, uh, well, the card here is enchantment, but I would even say a whole other level of appreciation or learning or worldview or concept, etc., um, the main focus of the week here is the card intention. This is just really interesting around the main theme for the week, Gemini, the intention and then the study. Like I said, your intention could be that you want to cement an idea that you have. <laughs> Certainly, some there are many times when I go in search of information in order to solidify, solidify something I already believe and know to be true or that I want to enhance my knowledge about. But once I've gone there or I've learned something new or um, gathered information I didn't expect to see or didn't expect to be enhancing this information and it changes everything that I thought or it gives me an edge, it, it, it turns me in a different direction. So just another way to look at it, uh, uh, any which way. No matter the intention going into this new phase of study in your life, whether it just be for fun, um, whether it's for your own skills and purposes or whether it's academia, I think it's um, going to be fun for you. And the reason I can say that uh, without worrying too much is that you have as qualifier cards next to study the cards celebration and then an enchantment. So these are really lovely to have kind of in any spread because celebration and enchantment is all about joy. It's the joy of learning. It's the joy of discovery. Uh, it's the joy of sharing this knowledge uh, or um, concept, the joy of even learning about other traditions, learning about other groups or other lifestyles or other people. Um, could be of major focus here. Uh, this could be about getting yourself out 
of trouble, out of a problem, uh, into a higher state of consciousness. The reason I say that is because the enchantment card really does speak to um, higher consciousness, to this suspended reality consciousness where it doesn't have to be a concept presently doesn't have to be proven to you to be a valid concept. And this, honestly, and I know it might be hard to believe sometimes, but this, that thought process actually skips a lot of people or a lot of people can't handle that thought process. They're just like, well, if I can't quantify it, I'm not even, or if no one else has figured this out, I'm not even going to bother asking that questions. That's embarrassing. Or, you know, I don't want to put myself in that uncomfortable situation. I think this is what you're doing this week, Gemini. And you're saying, you know, it could even be an uncomfortable situation, but it's going to bring such joy and a feeling of expansiveness, even like intellectual or cerebral um, um, enhancement to your life. So let's look at these individual individually one by one like we have the study card here and as you can see like the sense of the rainbow the sense of enlightenment or shining getting all aspects of something you didn't before right because this is what happens we know what happens when we shine a beam of light on you know those glass pyramids for example which is a really good example of this is, you know, the cover of the Pink Floyd album. I mean, what we get on the other side, once we shine that through, is we get the prism. We can understand different ways of viewing things. Um, maybe even just in general, maybe different uh, perception. So your perception could be changing here. And you're going to feel like this is a cause for celebration. Um, because it is freeing in some sense. And this I don't doubt. I mean, anytime we go and we expand on our knowledge or we put aside what we've always thought or, or believed um, in order to gain knowledge or to look into something that perhaps we've even taken for granted like you know for a hundred years we've been saying such and such and now all of a sudden someone asked this question about it and now we're looking at it differently and it, and it lends this attitude of enchantment there's this attitude of newness right there you know I haven't looked at it like that before I haven't considered that before so I think there's just a kind of a fun week of new considerations here um, new ways of looking at things I don't think this is going to create a cemented for a worldview for you right now I think it's just going to be about being excited to be in the process of learning um, study is always joyful and with regard to the intention here, I think it's even more joyful when we can suspend um, our own concepts and our own belief systems and attitudes as well uh, because it automatically leads to enchantment. Everything's going to feel like a discovery. Okay, this is interesting here. We have by the book as one of your qualifier cards to this reading. There could be an element uh, here with regard to exams, test taking, having to know something in particular in order to get to the next level. God forbid this be a video game. I really hope this isn't what's most prominent in your life. I'm teasing. If that's the case, that's cool too. But um, by the book is literally um, crossing your T's and dotting your I's and making sure things are done in order. So something about this week with regard to this issue around study and being captivated by it, wanting to wanting to celebrate it on some level is going to feel like it's part of the process and it's not going to feel like a downer to you. I think you're going to feel really rather happy that it sort of needs to be done this way or it needs to be taught this way or it needs to be studied this way <laughs> because believe it or not, it will probably just make the whole process a little bit easier particularly if it is about new information, about gathering and assessing and assimi assimilating new information, it could be to your benefit, Gemini, that it is done in a certain order. Um, because it then everything's not happening at once and it doesn't feel overwhelming. Certainly if this is if you're able to break this up a little bit, the learning phase or the contemplation phase or the intention, or even what you're enchanted with, if you look at it like uh, piece by piece, okay, little by little. All right, so 
whatever is happening this week with regard to um, this being prominent energy in your week, Gemini. We have the snake card as another qualifier. The snake's keyword is transformation. Hmm, I'm going to double check that just so that I'm not wrong. It's, I don't look at this book much anymore, but I really, it's not, it's transmutation. Okay, my bad. Glad I looked it up. Transmutation. So this is literally taking information that is new to you or that you are intentionally doing something different with and you're transmutating this um, in order to fit your worldview and it has to be done step by step. Uh, so really interesting here. I'll be curious to know how this is being applied in your life, Gemini. As always, if you have a moment, let me know in the comments. Uh, how this appealed to you. Um, one thing I would caution around this whole reading, if you are in a hurry, um, I would pay attention to both the card's intention and the card by the book. Just because if things are supposed to go a certain way and they're in any way rushed or pushed um, uh, for any reason, I think that this could cause upset or problems or it will, it will even, even if the problem is it steals from this sense of enchantment or joy um, or enlightenment around the issue. So if possible, take your time. The transmutation is no small matter. This is something that's going to affect things in the future on a large scale. Um, so maybe just learn at a slower rate or go a little bit at a time. Uh, because you do want to absorb it all because it is all going to make sense on the grand scheme of things and then once you know every little thing the grand scheme of things is going to be really easy to explain and apply so I hope you enjoyed the reading Gemini as always um, make sure you sound off below let me know what you think about it you can also subscribe I upload weekly videos for your sign every week. Thank you so much for joining me and take good care of yourself. I'll see you next week.